Morning all. So today I'm going to show you how I edit um, light painting images. Um, this was taken the other night when I was out with the SPG. If you don't know who the SPG are, it's a same photography group. Um, go out quite regular all over the place. Uh, been to Scotland and Cairngorms and everything else. So good bunch of lads. Get on Facebook, have a look, see what they do. So basically all I'm going to do is run through how I edit this image so I like it. Um, basically it's a long exposure, I'll show you. <coughs> it's a long exo exposure, 64 seconds, so it's, uh, just over a minute. F8, 16mm, which is a lens obviously, and ISO 400 or ISO 400. Now, first things I like to do, obviously, <coughs> if you see most of the videos I do, I always sort the lens corrections out. Once that's done, then we can start playing with some sliders. So as you can see, the image is, it's nice, it's sharp, it's got loads of texture on it, so I think it's just a little bit white. So, people might think that this is a bit strange, hit auto it'll give you a good starting point so that's the image so I'm going to crop it a little bit and I'm just going to move it over so this barrels just about in we didn't take this with us it was there so it was handy so that's not too bad right dehaze <coughs> by dehazing it just moving a little bit reset that if you want to reset anything that's been done on here you can either double click that so if you move it up you can double click that and it'll reset it so you, you don't have to go oh, I can't get it on back onto zero so dehaze all I'm going to do is take it up a bit and all it'll do is just clean it up a little bit around the outsides as you can see a little bit of clarity leave the texture alone because basically there's not a lot of texture wise there apart from the ground oh, I don't know I might Let's have a quick look oh, it's not making that much difference <coughs> right this is really white now you could go into all the colors and start faffing around with that lot but the easiest way to do it to make it a little bit nicer is go up to your temperature and just move it and I've only moved it once. That's all I've done. Yeah, so it's go. It goes from uh, two thousand five hundred, and that's basically what you get. Now you can take it up a little one more, and see how it's getting yellow, really yellow. Now I could take it all the way up, but I can't see the point. I just want it. I don't want it white. So. about there I think yeah the colors quite nice now it's really really bright so I'm gonna knock the highlights down a tad and I'm gonna take the whites down a little bit as well so yeah I quite like that the colors are nice you can see where it is if you wonder how this was done, basically it's a sparkler. That's all it is. It's one of the long sparklers. And then basically one of the lads has lit it, stood in the centre, waved it around a bit. Obviously with a bit of practice you can get stuff like this. And then he's just walked towards the camera to get the front bits. Um, this was done in a tunnel under the A19 somewhere um, near Seam. Uh, but that's about it. So there you go. That's a quick fix of how to basically edit and that's the difference before and after um, if you want to see more from this this set or when we went out head over to Facebook Facebook page links are all on the on the um, page somewhere at the top um, don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time bye